All right, guys, we've got all the big spots in of the uh, Reflectix. Now I'm going to do these smaller areas here. And then the little ones down there, um, I was going to cut out some little pieces for there. And then I was talking to Mr. Dude with a face, and he said, Oh, God, I screwed that up. No, you're fine. You can get... He said, Wait, why are you doing that? I thought I had time to prepare. He said, hey, he yeah, said I just had this idea. You know, great stuff. What if you just sprayed that in there? You know, that would be a great idea. So off to the home improvement store. We're going to go here in a little bit. So stay tuned. You'd be nothing without me. Need some more aluminum. Right, guys welcome back in the last episode we uh, finished up doing the reflectix and we did a little bit of the great stuff foam in some of the smaller crack areas uh, I wish I would have been a little bit a little bit less with the uh, great stuff foam uh, it's not hard to get carried away with this stuff it's expanded a lot more even overnight so um, we're gonna get this cleaned up and then we're gonna start um, with the uh, hard foam so stay tuned as with anything it just takes patience patience and a good sharp knife there's a finesse to be done with the great stuff foam you know less is more you just barely want to get Gosh, three eighths of an inch uh, put down, and uh, it expands a lot. Uh, so, by the time you get to the end of your project with the great stuff, I think you'll probably have a good system down. But this is where we kind of started. This is where we kind of started, and. Uh, it's a lot messier here than towards the end when we kind of learn the finesse and, and how to work the, the foam and not get so much of it out. And then having one of these long utility knives, this is a super huge help to get all this excess foam off. If you decide to go with the great stuff for some of these smaller areas, All right, guys, we've got the Reflectix installed. We have uh, put in our great stuff foam and trimmed it off. Now we're on to the next step. We're going to get this. We're going to get this PolyPro EPS, EPS insulation foam board installed. Um, it's about a half inch thick. It bends a little bit, which is going to be good in helping me try to get this into that bent shape of the truck bed shell. I may have to score the back of it um, halfway through um, just so that uh, you know it might bend a little bit more if I need to. So I'm going to start taking some measurements and we're going to start getting this poly pro board down in here and screwed into place as our second layer. I don't know if you can hear that. Can you hear that? Huh, she stopped doing it, but 
I've got a little Janis Joplin upstairs. She's playing her guitar in her bedroom right above this garage, so Dad's got music to work with today. What you doing? Oh, I'm just taking out this old leather stripping. How's that? How's so that? I came up with this idea. Instead of yanking and carving on this sucker like a Neanderthal, I thought, why not make it warm? And it pulls off really well with just regular hair dryer on the hottest setting and just low fan. I've done this whole way and there are like no woogets left except, except for stuff that's already there. Why are you pulling the old stuff off? So that we can replace it with new non-mutilated stuff that's specifically for campers. Nice. Because if you observe, yeah, it it's quite mutilated. Well, cool. Carry on. Off. Takes a while for everything to start heating up again. And it just yeah, pulls off going, nice though. and easy. Keep going right on along. Well, hopefully mom doesn't find out that we're using a hair dryer, huh? Another reason why debt-free homesteaders is what it is. Because one day I will be away from all of this and it will be great. There's always kids, there's always cars, there's always horns, motorcycles. I live Dogs. next to a freaking airport. Dogs, bark, 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 bark. Blah. See, what do I tell you? Right, cool we've got the foam board in there and the uh, reflectix I wanted to have a little bit of a gap in there but it's just not going to turn out um, the way this is structured I didn't have a way to build it up and it was just going to take a lot more time than I wanted to put into it so we just sandwiched the foam board on top of the reflectix I guess I'm somewhere in the R value of five to seven it's not a house we're going to use it camping it's going to help keep the draft out and uh, reflect our body heat back to us so now i'm going to take some of these uh, pieces of eighth inch thick half inch wide um, aluminum and i'm going to put it across the top and i'm going to screw it down into the existing structure that way that'll help keep that foam board from falling out of there i doubt it will fall out because i cut it real snug to fit but the other thing is, is i can run some led lights on here if i want to put some small screw hooks in there i'll have uh, some places to uh, uh, hang keys or 
who knows what. So that's what we're going to do now is put this uh, aluminum exoskeleton on. So let's get to that now. So change of plans here. I got the poly board in. Then I put my extruded aluminum in here and I kind of got it situated where I wanted to have it. Well, I noticed there's a little bit of a gap in here and I just wasn't happy with that. And I got thinking, you know, that would almost fit a piece of, that would almost fit a piece of the Reflectix. I thought, well, if I put some Reflectix under there like that, that's going to look really goofy. But then I started thinking a little bit outside the box. And I thought, you know what, what I'll do is I'm going to pull the poly board out. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these pieces of Reflectix and we're going to put them in here and I'm going to spray adhesive them in here. on either side and then I'll put maybe another little strip up at the top and down at the bottom and then I'll put the poly board in back in after I've sprayed those down now I have created myself a quarter inch air gap it's not much but it still is an air gap and then when I get this poly board back in here Now, this flat bar sits nice and flush. And I still have just a little bit of air gap in there. So we're gonna box all these out with some of this four inch Reflectix that I cut out. I'm gonna border them all out and then I'll put the poly board back in and then we'll start putting down the aluminum bar.